Take a look. That's Scott Lagacy, uh, Jr. on the 11 underneath. Slow oh, got oh. to into him. Here we go. Hang on. Ow. Ah, got spawn. Unbelievable. So our third caution comes out, and there's a lot of damage to the rear of Stephen Wallace's number 66 in power. Right. Man. And I was worried about that outside groove of these restarts, guys. It just happens. Side bells, left side. Stephen was up to 10th position when the caution comes out after he uh, gets hit in that uh, left, right, left rear corner pack. Whoa, dang, I, I got a sense here that uh, Stephen's not real happy with Scott Legacy. Well, he's just got to use his head right now. He's hot. This is a big race for him with the sponsors being here and just really upset. Yep, here we go. And I'm sure NASCAR is going to be looking to see if anything. I just a little know. Didn't like the way he was racing there. Yeah, hasn't made any contact yet. He really needs to get that car to pit lane. They can work on it. Yeah, he's just really upset right now. And he's just got to control his temper, get it in. Like I said, it was a big, oh, big race. And a fast car, but... Okay, here, quit playing around up there. Go. Okay, let's go back and take another look from the outside. You see, drop down in this corner right here. And, there's, you know, it's just hard racing. It looked like the 11 car just moved up the racetrack a little bit. It's awful bumpy down there. It's, it's really hard to run side by side and get into turn one. Well, Scott really didn't do anything wrong, Andy. Take a look. As he gets down, and this is a classic, just get loose. Yeah, and, there, and there's just not a lot of room there. I mean, Stephen's trying to keep, you know, he's wanting this spot. Stephen's trying to get this spot, so he's not going to give him an extra amount of room. They're racing. Yeah, look Scott, at Scott just got loose. Let's take a look at it one more time. Gets down in there, very close to Stephen. We talk all the time about this thing you have to be careful of. Yeah, see, see the back end, just jump out there. Yeah. Hold the break, hold the break. Look at hold that. Break. That was 34. Tony Raines making a nice move to keep from getting involved in that as well. One more view. You see, they're just really racing hard down in here, trying to get the advantage. There. Yeah. Yeah, I know it looks bad, and, and especially it looks bad from Steven's seat. You can understand the frustration. Well, we've got the word from NASCAR that uh, crew chief uh, and driver, Brian Berry and Steven, will be uh, called to the trailer. Contact oh. great swords and a couple of cars. No, Legacy makes a save. And Brad Keselowski keep no keeps it from going in the wall. And they're still three wide, still three wide. It has cost both of them a lot of positions, but man, they are still in one piece. And they're three wide, getting out of the turn one again right now. Whoa! Oh, we got contact again, and we got cars going around in the wall. And Legacy is tagged. Man. He has hit the wall hard with the back end of that Camry. Man, he did a great job saving. Uh-oh. Uh, it sounds like they're saying that uh, Brendan gave him a payback. Well, when I, I saw know. them all going three wide down into turn one, I said, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to fit. That's 62, Roman. Well, this is our fifth caution right now, and we'll get a chance to look at it see what happened. A lot of damage, though, to that 11. Boy, these restarts are wild. All right, this is earlier. Okay, you see Reed Sorensen now driving on the inside of Legacy. Gets into the left rear. Langsley does a great job right here to save the car. Yeah, Scott holds on really good. Nice job right there. But now they're all bottled up. Still three wide coming off the corner here. Okay, now there's the 62 of Brendan gone. He is right in the middle of this mix. And, well, looks like another hard racing incident to me. Just three wide getting into turn one. That's a very narrow entry yeah. corner. From the 62 on board. You know, you got a guy like the 11 car struggling and going back, and you just want to try to go ahead and take advantage of him getting out in the corner. That's what Brendan was trying to do. Uh, not very happy, Scott Legacy. What happened out there? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just, I'm baffled here. It, you know, I, I just hate it for America's Incredible Pizza Company, CJM Racing. We had a great race car, you know, driving forward and to end up like that, I, I, it's a little frustrating. You know, there were a couple things happened there that, um, Got used up a little bit. 
mentioned a couple things. It wasn't just that last incident. It seemed like you were in the middle of things for the past 20 laps or so. How would you describe the racing out there right now? It's a little wild right now, but I mean, that, some of that stuff's uncalled for. You know, I think driving across the grass and curb getting in is a little bit aggressive. And then what happened right there, I don't know. I, 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 to take us out of it, I, I just, it's very frustrating. So I had a good car. We figured we were getting a piece of company, the, the run they deserve. Ride Makers is here, so it's fun for that. But I hate it for these guys because they did a good job all weekend.